Welcome to my channel. We have several popular museums in Kanazawa. You can get an exposure to not only art but architect, philosophy, including Zen, craft, and handcraft that originated in Kanazawa. Let's start off with 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art, Kanazawa. They always display cutting-edge arts all over the world, so that all visitors can get familiar with them in this museum. Though it's a museum, there are some spaces where we interact with each other. I think it's definitely a spot that you should go to. It is located less than 15 minutes from Kanazawa Station by bus or rental bike. Here is a tea house named Shotoan with a Japanese garden at the corner of its yard. I share the way of tea with the international customers in English as a host of Airbnb experience. While you are at this museum, I hope you visit here and enjoy the contrast between the modern arts and the Japanese way of tea. Kanazawa Craft Hirosaka is right next to this museum. There are unique and wonderful crafts. Here are temaris made of cotton and silk strings, which Tamahime loved in the Edo period and the people have been inheriting them. It's new and removed from Tokyo in 2020. It is located about 5 minutes away on foot from Hirosaka. Kanaza is known for its craft culture because the Kaga domain Maida family supported it. So we have many living national treasures here. Unfortunately, cameras are not allowed in the building and it is open irregularly. I would suggest you confirm its update before you visit. But you can often enjoy the food festivals in Front Square. It is located about 10 minutes drive from Kanazawa Station. Do you know Ohiyaki? Ohiyaki is a famous pottery in Japan and used in the tea ceremony, especially at Ura Tea School. With a unique plain texture, it is getting admired globally. Its museum is in the back of the store. It takes about 10 minutes on foot to get there from around Kenrokuen. Daises was born and raised in Kanazawa and is a Buddhist philosopher. Mindfulness is now in fashion and Zen is also popular nowadays. What he accomplished was to spread the presence of Zen all over the world. This museum is one of the most popular spots for international travelers in recent years. This museum has a contemplative space where you get to do self-reflection like Dyson did. Especially for those who appreciate mindfulness, I would highly recommend coming here to get through Dyson's world. It is located in Kahoku City, which is 30 minutes drive from Kanazawa Station. This memorial museum is designed by one of the most well-known Japanese architects, Tadao Ando. It is designed like a maze from visitors to get the philosophy of a deep self-reflection. Kitaro and Daises had been close friends and respected each other since their high school days. 
They exchange letters between the U.S. and Japan. The common concepts of two museums are meditation and experience. It commemorates the achievements of two architects, Yoshiro and his son Yoshio, who were born and grew up in Kanazawa. Yoshio designed MoMA in New York as well as DT Suzuki Museum. His father Yoshiro is the designer of the annex of Akasaka Geihinkan in Tokyo, which is a guest house for international VIPs. One of his accomplishments is to come up with an idea to welcome them by showing the way of tea like the stage of no at that time. At the end, I really want to share two craft industries, especially in Kanazawa. It's the only one industry in the shop which sells Kanazawa Bangasa. It takes a long time to make them by hand. Next year, they are going to be invited to the big exhibition in Venice. Here is another authentic original handcraft industry and shop for Mizuhiki. In Kanazawa, Mizuhiki has been used in the engagement or special celebration. How do you like art, zen, architecture, craft and handcraft in Kanazawa? I'm waiting for you in Kanazawa.